Hi everyone, it's Karen here for the Flying Unicorn uh, with a new uh, mixed media a bo a shadow box that I made. With a, This is the one I'm making today. It, it was made with most of the products from the October kit. So if you got yourself some of the October kit mixed uh, media kit, then you'll be able to use some of these products for to make your own. I'm just going to turn the camera around so I can start. Hi, Joanne. Okay, so I need to put it a bit higher just because, um, one minute. Oh, you can see the mess on my desk. Alva wouldn't like that, right? Okay, I want to apologize in advance for my gross nails. I did get my nails done like a last week or so, but I was working very hard today, actually for the past few days, trying to catch up on projects and I cannot get things off. And I know somebody was mentioning that Alda despises dirty hands, so I'm just going like this just for fun. <laughs> Anyways, this is my project. And I had to do some of it in advance um, because like, I don't know if like in the last show that I did, when I applied the crackle paste, it did not crackle well. So I did go ahead and did something that in advance just so this would work, okay? Um, and uh, I'm gonna get started with this. So I'm gonna put this aside and I'm going to bring this now. I didn't have such a, you see, if you see this canvas, it's, it was, this came in the kit. It was very like the, um, the width of the canvas was wide. I could not find, I went to the store to look for the same type of canvas in the wider than this is a six by 12 canvas. So I ended up finding it's a little bit narrower, but it's okay. It does its job and that's good enough. I took one of the papers from the seven dots collection, lost and found. And I had to, I just cut a frame. This is the back of the canvas, okay? So what I did is I literally cut a frame to fit around the whole canvas. I think Janelle, you were the one who was asking me um, if to leave the staples or not. So this is another way of hiding the staples, right? She asked us the other day where you just use paper to cover it. You could use paper, you could use modeling paste, you can use anything you want to just cover the back and make it your own. And then the piece from the inside kind of went inside the canvas in the shadow box itself. The reason why I had to do this in advance is because I had to put this, um, um, you had to put this uh, crackle glaze. I wanted to put this crackle glaze. This is De uh, Deco Art Media Crackle Glaze. Also comes in the kit. It was a really good kit. And for all those people, and I think it's mainly Janelle, for all those people that really cannot get uh, crackles. This one, one of us, the best crackling glazes I've ever seen. Really gets an amazing crackle. And I can't really even, sh I don't know if you can show it to you, but it really does an amazing crackle. Like beautiful, beautiful crackles. And because it takes so long to dry, I, ha dry, I had to do this in advance. I did put in, I put it with on with a brush and I'll show you how this looks, just so you know. And it's basically a clear glaze, it stinks but it does its job really nicely. Now this is where I'm starting the project from over here, okay? So once you have the crackles, you cannot see them really well unless you add something to them, something darker that will go into the grooves. And what I did, this, this uh, kit comes with these uh, watercolors and I use them to create a little bit of like, at the, um, how do you call this, to stain the canvas and the cracks. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit. First, let me start. I'll take the darker one and I'm going to put it. And I also am going to take, um, I'm just trying to look at the chat. That's why I'm sometimes getting stuck. Uh, so, Priscilla, uh, one of the things, the crackle medium from the kit, you have to put it. Uh, when I say a pretty thick coat, um, just make sure that it basically almost kind of covers it all 
you cannot just brush it on you kind of kind of glob it on not huge amount basically that it will have like a millimeter um a millimeter of height um, one or two millimeters of height okay so you really want a good coverage you don't want to just um you don't want to just like kind of brush it thinly that's you only do if you have gesso but like for for this type of medium you really you're going to see now that i apply the brown you're going to see how these cracks actually come on you see that do you see how it's working into the cracks oh i can't you cannot see i'm like telling you do you see and okay let me see if i can get some more light here it's very frustrating when there's no light and what i'm going to do is i'm going to this is called glaze medium it's acrylic glaze medium but i'm going to add it to the watercolor just it makes it a very um it waters down a little bit the the push the medium sorry put a little bit more and let me mix it oh that's the wrong one oh goodness gracious Let me just mix it. The glaze just helps it all shine. Okay, again. Can you guys see the cracks? It's so annoying. I can I don't think you can see them from where you are. And I'm basically just working it into the cracks. I will try my best to show you, like I'll try to bring it up so you guys can see them. I don't know why the lighting is so terrible here. I will, let me first work it in and then I will show you. I use a... Um, the paper in the background is, also comes in the kit. It's the Seven Dot Studios Lost and Found. I love that collection. It's really cool. It's definitely my style. Okay. Do you see the cracks now? Can you see? Can you see the cracks? You see all the cracks? That's how big they are. Some of them are small and some of them are big. The more you, the thicker the layer, the bigger the cracks. So if you want thinner cracks, you're gonna get, you're gonna have to do, um, you're gonna have to do like a thinner layer of the gel. If you want thicker cracks, then you just put, um, you just put less of it, okay? Um, I've used a wipe for this, I'm not sure. And if you use the wipe, what happens is that it takes away some of the paint but it leaves the cracks and you see you see the cracks there you use the wipe to remove some of the paint because you want just the the cracks I mean the, the paint to be inside the cracks and not so much in the exterior it's basically just to darken the crackle wow that's cool And I'm going to show you again. You see, I'm trying to like show you the cracks. Anyway, so that's what it is. I'm just going to just color the, the edges with the wipe. Maybe not with the wipe. Sorry, it's so dark. Wow. Usually it's not this dark. Okay. Here. There we go. There is the brown part. 
Okay, so that works out well. Let me dry it up a little bit. And then we'll do the next step. Let me see what's going on. Yes, somebody, if you put a good layer of it, you will get some really nice cracks. I, will, I can have to show you if you want. I can show you, like if you see, oh God, why is this so bad? Hold on. I'm going to try to put the lighting better. Okay. I don't know if you can see. You might not be able to see the cracks on this side. They're small. You can barely see them. But the ones in here are quite large. And I really like them. Okay. So that's what I was trying to say, to show you. Um, okay. A little bit more dry. Mm, dry a little bit more so you can do the next step. Another item that comes in the kit is this mica powder. It's one of the new ones from Finnebear. It's called Bottle um, Bottle Green. Really nice, really nice color. I quite like it. And um, I also used it to add some more color. One minute. Okay, so I took the mica, and it's really cool. It comes with like a lid and like um, it's like a salt shaker, so you can actually shake it out, and it's not like all over the place. The more you put, the more intense the color is gonna be. And I use this glazing media. It's great to mix the mica with. I love it. So um, I'm going to mix it. Oh, hi, Shauna. Hi, oh, Carrie. Hi, I didn't say hi to you, by the way. Okay. So I'm just mixing this. I think I need some more. I put too much, but it's okay. We'll use it. Okay, so you just want to give it a light, a light coat. And the reason why is you want to kind of it gives it kind of a patina kind of color. Um, I mean, of course, you can put more in some areas, but it's mainly to just give it this light oxidized kind of look. So what is that? Is that somebody's cat that just put a bunch of numbers on? <laughs> okay, one side two. So the brown, in combined with the green, just gives it a really nice color. And I'm going to put some on the edges too, because I have an extra. I think I did that with the other one too. Um, I'm going to save some of it because once I put the metals on, I want to have some of it for the metals too. Sorry, just kind of painting this. There we go. So I'm going to save some of it on the side, so bear with me there. I'm going to dry. Can you guys see? Looks a little bit fuzzy to me. Oh there, now it's not fuzzy anymore. Sorry about that. Oh, I love the color that it gives. I wish it was brighter here. I don't know why. I usually have a lot of light. I don't know what's happening here. I'm trying to, like, 
Yes. Carrie, how about those Blue Jays? And Shauna, I don't know if Shauna is. Our team just won today. They were going to lose. So we're very happy. I hope there's no Kansas City Royal fans here. Boo. Oh, and, and Vita. I don't know if you follow too. All my Canadian friends. Oh, wait. And, and um, Anne Marie? No, Anne, no, Anne Marie is not. I meant to say. Oh, goodness. Joanne. No. Oh, God, I'm so confused. Who's the one from? I don't know. Now, can I help? Somebody help me. Go, Jays. Yes, you can mix the, uh, the mica with anything. I've mixed. You can mix it with um, with gesso. You can mix it with uh, matte gel or gloss gel. You can mix it with um, modeling paste. Um, and what else? Um, yeah, you can basically mix mica with anything. It's great. You can actually put it, mix it with water and put it in a bottle. That works out well too. Anyways, okay, next. Um, oh, Joy. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. I thought we were, so it was somebody. Okay, so what I do is I have all these brushes that I buy and then I forget to put them in the, um, I forget to, I put them in the water and then I forget them sometimes and they get all hard or sometimes I forget to put them in the water and they get, and they get very hard. So I have to, um, so I save them all because I figure I can always incorporate them into my artwork. So funny enough, you're saying about mica makeup, okay? Like I buy uh, makeup from um, Bare Minerals and the eyeshadow looks exactly like mica. Like to the point that I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if I could use it in my in the art, in my art. It's true. So I am just taking out stuff. So I'm taking out a bunch of medals that I have. Some are from Flying Unicorn, some are from, I have no idea where. Just different medals that I have. This also comes in the kit. I have used the hearts for the other one. This one is Petaloo, it's a uh, resin. Um, these are circles just because that's what I had left over. I didn't have any more hearts left. So to glue everything, I want to use 3D matte gel. You could use the gloss one too. You could use the soft one also. It's just basically what I have at hand. I'm even going to use my hard brush. doesn't really matter, even though this is the one I'm putting in the project. I'm going to start gluing these. So you want to put enough so it stays on. It will take a long time to dry. It will probably dry till the tomorrow, but that's okay. There's no rush. Nobody's in a rush, right? And um, I didn't know that. That's interesting, Julie. I'm trying to read, so I am. Okay, hold on. Oops, so some of this is coming out. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah, so I'm just basically gluing, gluing, um, gluing this, gluing the um, the metals. Just making a nice arrangement. Nothing fancy. Hold on, let me see. I think over here, kind of. You don't want anything kind of in the air. It'll be hard to keep together. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what else? I need these little ones. Where are my little ones? Yes, yeah, so you can use this, this 3D gel. You can also mix it with mica. I can show you in a second. I will show you how to, that you can also do that. Oh, putting it in the wrong side, sorry. I have this song stuck in my head. X's and O's. Do you guys know that song? I have it stuck in my head. I don't know why. It's stuck in my head.
Okay, hold on. So I kind of want to make a triangle with this. So I'm um, just gluing these. And if you want to make everything faster, you could use the Fabri-Tac glue or some kind of glue and then use this together with the other one. And it will stay in place at that moment. Uh, no, these embellishments are not from, uh, sorry, you mean now, Deb? These embellishments are not. These are um, just some stuff that I've found. I collect everything, so I buy myself sometimes on eBay some stuff. But also some of them are Flying Unicorn, if I'm not mistaken. Um, flying Un uh, like Alda has some some adornments that she that she sells for everyone. So some of the flowers I think are. So yeah. Am I missing more? Oh, no. Don't want it to be too empty or too full. Oh, and then I'm going to glue. Hold on. Where do they go? Oh, there they are. I'm going to put these ones on. Okay. Okay, so this is um, the resin. Also, while 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 I still have um some of that, which this is not glued properly. Since while I still have some of it on, I still have these some of the the um, the gel on. I am going to hold on. I'm looking for them. I'm going to drop some of these. These are 13 Arts gold microspheres. They're basically little beads. They're very good. I love these. They give such good texture. And obviously this white part is going to dry clear once it's dry. So not to worry. And then when I run out of patience, I start going like this. Okay, good. There we go. Can you guys see? Sorry, just my screen is... Okay, you guys can see. All right. And then I'm going to glue these. Hold on. Then I'm going to put some glue. Even though these are stickers, I must put some... something on them so they stay. Some of this on. Hold on. I also use, so these also are part of one of the kits, of the October kits. And I also use, these are uh, Tim Holtz philosophy tags. And I think Journey will be a good one here. I'm gonna put it differently. Maybe Artful Journey. Okay, I think Artful Journey is good. I want to, yeah. So, hold on, I want to, hold on. Any questions? Sorry, I'm not following. I'm not following the, there we go. This one, let's see, I think I want to move this a little bit. I think this one should go underneath here to kind of hold it together. Let's move this a bit higher up. The nice thing is about it is that it still stays wet, so you can still play around. And if it's bothered, if that one is bothering me, it's not wanting to glue. So I'm going to use a little bit of just to hold it together until this dries, okay? Just has too many holes. So at least this will just hold it together. Anything else that is loose, you can always use some of this glue just to hold it in the meantime until um, you do it. Now I'm going to show you for the person that asked, just so you, so you see you can also use soft gel medium or, or this one, okay? Here I'm going to use some of it just to show you. 
I'm mixing it in because it doesn't really matter. You could use something else for it. You don't have to use the glaze medium. Just the glaze medium is a little bit softer and um, this one is a little bit thicker, but that's okay. It will do its job too. And it will, you can give like, oh, I'm not going to use it with this. Sorry, a second. So, Mm -hmm. This is the one that goes here. So I need to glue this one too. And I'm actually going to use some of the, this and then I will also put, because of lack of time. And I'm going to put, I'm going to get another paintbrush. And where are they? One minute. Okay, so I'm going to use another paintbrush and I'm actually going to paint on top of it too to cover all the flaws and give some highlights to the flowers and to other things. So when it dries, you have the green highlights here too. The November kit, I have to tell you, is gorgeous. I mean, all kits are gorgeous, but this one, very, very, very unique. I haven't seen one this unique. The papers are great. I don't think most people have not seen these papers. They're actually quite cool. Okay, so I'm just covering this paintbrush. Not only with this, I also use some gold. I just want to finish this. Um, ah, everything is moving. This is a problem when things are not dry. I use some of the um, 13 arts uh, old gold metallic gold and paint. It's acrylic paint that came in one of the kits. So don't ask me which one, but maybe Alba knows. Remember, so I'm gonna just wipe this because it's just taking too much space. And I'm going to wipe this too. Okay, so now I wanna add some Some gold, golden highlights to it. I love the golden highlights. Not sure if this is the one I used before. It will do its job. Um, you can also now this. You can also spray some of the Empress Gold. I don't know if you've ever sprayed the Empress Gold color blue. It's really cool. It really gives a golden effect when you spray it. Can you guys see the gold highlights? I doubt you can see them from over there. It's such bad lighting at night. And I want to I'm gonna paint the paintbrush in gold too. I'm being quiet and I'm not um, not getting hot. So the things still move, but that's okay because it just it's just the um, the glue. Once it glue, once it dries by two by tomorrow, it should be fully, fully a hundred percent dry, and then it looks great like the other one. Another thing, so I think I'm going to add a little bit of that gold. I think it will look really good. This is Empress Gold. It just really adds a little bit of highlights of gold. And does a really good job. And I, think I really like the gold. 
think I need to refill this one. Ah. Oh, there it is. I saw that piece go out. Sorry, Nico. I think I might have to lift it. There we go. Okay. Yeah. When in doubt, use your fingers since they're already fully super, super dirty. Okay, so that's that. And I also added some. Let me dry this a little bit actually. It's just too wet. As I'm drying, I'm adding some more highlights, trying not to burn myself. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I have when people come to my classes I don't mind if they wear if they wear gloves I find gloves hard to use um, but if people want to wear them well, I'll do all the better you know for them sorry you're listening to me drinking I was I'm very thirsty but it gets hot in my room okay so the next thing I did is I added a little bit of, um, which one is it? One of the 13 arts, um, I think it also came in one of the kits, so you know what, I don't know anymore. It's sky blue. I just added a little bit of blue. I needed some extra, um, like kind of color into it. So I just kind of sprayed it and that was it. I did it in all three sides, all three places. Then I'll dry. Since I did the crackle in advance, it saved me a lot of time. But I think if I would have done it, um, if I would have done it on its own, it would have not. Oh, it would have not been. It would have not crackled as nicely as it did, and then I would have had to be drying for a long time. So that's why I did it in advance even though right now I'm way ahead of time. So I'm trying to kind of stall with, stall with some drying. Ah, <laughs> no. Very funny, Shauna, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so the last, oh no, the last thing. A um, couple things that I added. Um, I added, some of these. These are um, Sating Crystals. This is from the Forever Green collection, but the Peter Prima, but could be basically any any um, any ones that match. I really like these. So I'm gonna add some glue to them too. And again, I'm using my fingers because it's the easiest. Just to add them at cent as, as centers. Okay, there we go. The blue spray is from 13 Arts, is a company in Poland. It's called, sorry, Pearl Sky Blue. And uh, Aida, she's one of the design team members. She has um, so many cool different products. It's her company and she has many different products. And I think one of these came in one of the kits.
What story? I missed a story. Ah, I missed stories. Okay, then should I put more? I think three is good. Again, I'm making this triangle. I've been trying to explain to people this triangle business, but all of us know this already, so I don't think I need to explain it. If somebody wants to explain the triangle, I can. Um, the other thing I did, this is an old, um, I don't know what it is, like word stickers that I have, like, like they're kind of 3D, and I'm just like looking for like um, kind of inspirational words. And I think when I was in happiness would be a good one. Um, let's see. Brave. There's so many nice words. Dancing, singing. I don't know. I want something good. Patient. That would be a good one for me. I think peace. No. Believe in happiness. Have me. Believe in happiness. What do you guys say? I think so. I think, I think, I think. Believe in happiness. Are you talking to me, Janelle, about what the are? Okay, so these are, to tell you the truth, I don't know where I got these from, but they are like, um, I want to say either Joanne's or or um, Michael's like these were like literally like K and Company or one of those companies that only sells at Michael's their words they come like this and I don't know the company I'm so sorry about that I should have not used these because it confuses people but um, it's basically like um, just inspirational words that people I think are yeah, I think they're for scrapbooking. Um, they're more for like, um, I use them for titles and things like that on my on my scrapbooking pages. Okay, hold on. So, yeah, let's see. I might have to add some more, some more paint. So what I want to do, and I'm going to spray some of this here and with a paintbrush. I'm going to go around. I just have a little bit of blue highlights everywhere because I like them. I'm going to make this one a little bit different since I have a little bit of time. So I'm kind of making a nice border around. So it's going to be a little bit different than the other one and different for different reasons. Just because now I have more time and I can play around with. I'm so early and I want you guys to still have some chance to chat. So. Let's go. This is what happens when you do crackle glaze in advance. I should have not done it. But it's just a habit. I try not to use crackle in my classes because it just takes too long to dry. And not only do I not have patience, but everybody's limited in time. Okay, I think this is it. Oh, I apologize for finishing 20 minutes early. Usually everybody's like, I don't mean, I didn't mean to finish early. Oh, one thing though, sorry, I do want to add. I want to add some blue. I think I added this there. I want to add some blue inside here. It just gives it a nice. Oh, you guys see my doggy bark? Our doggy is eight months today. Not today, sorry. And last week, no, seven months. Sorry, seven months, and he's getting neutered next, next month. Okay, hold on. A little bit more. Who wants what on their wall? Who said, sorry, I'm like not reading. I wasn't sure if we were talking about this. Did Vita said, Vita, you want one on your wall? Or is it about something else? Is it about one of these? There we go. 
Yeah, the blue really adds. I really like that. I can read. Oh, my canvas. Okay, Vita, it's on. It's yours, but you have to like come and do one of my classes here beside me. I have a class on November 1st. If you want to do it live in person, I'm doing a class on November 1st, a very cool mixed media one. I think Alda might have sent it to you. Then I'll give you, since I have two, you can have one of them. <laughs> what do you guys think? You can pick the one you like. Oh, very good. Now everybody wants it. Uh, very cute, Deb. Very, very cute. Maybe I might have to just bring you something. It's fine. <laughs> and now that I have two, you know what? I don't even have room for any of these. So uh, I keep on between these ones and the ones I made a few days ago. <laughs> it's all good. Um, so, guys, this is it. Any questions? <laughs> oh, next week Jennifer is on. I don't think she's on today. My friend Jennifer, who I miss. I haven't seen her or heard from her in so long. And uh, pre-orders for the kit. Oh, let me turn myself around. I'm like talking to, like you guys are talking to a canvas. Hold on. Okay, there I am. So pre-orders for the kits are, um, I think tomorrow, somebody correct me if not, um, in November kit, I'm telling you it's stunning. Yeah, good, I actually hid what I was doing because I was working on it today. I actually got it today, thank God, so I could actually, I can really tell you that it's really nice. Um, and um, what else? Yes, Jennifer next week and well, check the store for all the products. Hopefully you got some of these products in the kit because some of them were sold out uh, from the store. And thank you so, so much, everyone, for coming. I know I finished a little bit early, but you know what? Early is better than late. <laughs> well, that's why I'm always early. And um, thank you so much for coming tonight for the to the Flying Unicorn Ustream channel and being with us. I really had fun, and I'm really glad that all of you came to visit us and to join us. Thanks. Bye. I want to stay on.